What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Beats and Beats. And gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Shots. Cheers, motherfuckers. Oh, God. I forgot you handed me tequila, Danny. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you guys are switching it up tonight. That's good. <sighs> yeah, he, only gives, he only gives it to the Mexican. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> yep. I think you, you can handle it a lot better. Giving it to me, my shirt would have been off instantly. You'd think so, but it's pretty horrible still. So, oh. <laughs> so how, how's everybody doing, man? How you guys doing? Doing good. Doing good. Doing all right. Doing all right. I'm good. Uh, I think today I only called Danny what three times. <laughs> today was only three. I think we're doing we're doing good. Okay. The day's I not like over it, yet, like it. so we'll, we'll get on. Well, yeah. I mean, then this is Riverside, so this is four, and then the call afterwards. Yeah. Fine. And then we'll jump on it, dude. Be fine. Hey, Danny, you, you ain't no holler back, girl, Danny. Come on, man. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> hey, you know, yeah. I do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you guys, real quick, once again, we released, fine, I'll do it myself, a couple, uh, was it two weeks ago now? One week? One week. Well, one weeks. week. This episode, yeah, it's right? been a little. It's been a little over a week now, and it's doing great. We're probably on the. We're, we should be breaking 10k streams fairly soon, from the way the, the numbers look. With everybody consistently listening, so we appreciate all of you. Keep it up. Keep spreading the word. We're working on I'm some new stuff. And say that we've already broken it by the time this episode comes out. Thank you so I much. Like, I like your style. There you go. There it is. Hey, to 10,000 streams, guys. <laughs> hey, thank you. We couldn't have done it without all 10,000 of you. I still exactly. haven't heard it on Spotify. Is it good? <laughs> is it good? Is that what you said? I haven't heard it on Spotify yet. Oh. It sounds like I would imagine it would sound like on other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> That is all free music. <laughs> Fucking yeah. good. But yeah, so once again, you guys, just thank you so much for sharing the new single and be prepared for some new stuff because we got another one coming fairly soon. I think next month, or are, we, are we in May yet? No. In June, yeah, buddy. we should be having, yeah, we should be having something coming out in one more time. We got two coming out. Oh, we got two coming out. There, there we go. The next one's going to have two. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, we did some pretty cool stuff uh, with this new song that we're working on. It's called Little Karma. And uh, we have our kids singing in the song, which is pretty awesome. So I can't wait for you guys to be able to listen to that. And we, you know, we got some behind footage. I posted a little clip of it on TikTok yesterday when we did it last night with uh, mine and Danny's kids. And then Josh's kids are going to get on it this uh, this week, too. So it's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait. Yeah. I mean, from what yeah. I heard, it's amazing. Hey, not a lot of tutorial horn, but you know, it, you know. yeah. So, uh, Rob, you had an interesting topic <laughs> to talk about uh, today about X. You were talking. You were saying, should we still be on it? <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, this is a platform I've kind of personally. The, there's a lot of factors in this. Uh, mainly, the algorithms change for it. Uh, whenever I log into this app, I no longer see who I want to follow. It is, it's based off of someone else's agenda. Like, hey, here's Spaces of Death, and here's some Republican views, and here's some Democratic views. And it's just like, dude, I just signed up this for wrestling and music. And and it's just turned into a bunch of like, hey, here's some morbid facts. And here's what the Dems are trying to do to you. And have you found Jesus? And you're like, dude, I'm not about any of this. Every yeah. once in a while, I'll get it porn, and I'm like, okay, that's 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 on me. But everything, <laughs> it's just like I, I didn't ask for this, and I do not want to see this. Um, so, with that being said, um, how does a band that operates as a core group of individuals acting together as a name feel about? a brand that doesn't even agree with the same stuff that they agree with. So well, for me, um, us, us backing out of X or, you know, for me, I have no qualms about it. Like I just, 
pull the fucking plug in a heartbeat. Mm. Uh, I know other artists. Oh. Did, sorry, uh, no other artists did as well as second. Somebody purchased it and kind of was starting to tank it. You had Trent Reznor pull out, and a bunch of other celebrities said that they wouldn't even give the time to this guy. So I think we've given enough time to it. Your guys' okay. thoughts? I mean, I rarely pull out, but I get it, dude. You know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good for you. Good for you. Uh, I, I think you yeah. have an interesting take on this because Danny already gave up Facebook, you know, like he didn't like where the direction Facebook was going. So Danny, go ahead. What do you, what do you, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I just, you know, I, I was seeing, um, I, I, Rob sent me something like a week ago about, uh, it was a photo that wound up on X with Elon Musk. Right. And, <laughs> wasn't he trying to like take the photo down or get rid of it? And it's like, you're censoring and taking down, you're picking and choosing what you want. And it seems like, uh, I just, let me, uh, to be completely honest with you, there was a point where I had some level of respect for that man. Like, you know, the pursuit of, you know, going to space and all that shit's really cool. But at some point, like, it seems like to me anyways, that dude's purpose changed. And for several years now, I've kind of been like, fuck that guy. So yeah. I would say, fuck X in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Yeah. Joshua, how do you feel about, about that? Well, it'll be quick for me. Um, I never even had a fucking Twitter. <laughs> so I can <laughs> frankly give a shit if we get off of X because I never hopped on to begin with. So I can't miss what I never even started to be a part of. But as well, a yeah, group, was... as a whole, I... I support you guys if we were going to get off of it. I was telling Rob the other day that, like, I made an account a long time ago. I jumped on and, like, had an interaction with a friend and poked around for a little bit. And I just went, damn, man, I feel like stress after being on here, you know? And that's how Facebook got for me, too, you know? Like, yeah. like Rob was saying, you're just constantly getting thrown shit that you're like, I don't really want to see, like, cops beating people up all day long i don't want to see political i don't really want to know what trump's doing today and what biden's doing you know what i'm saying? like i'm not a person who lives in the world of like you know i'm not sitting here every day watching the trump trial right now going like oh i hope he burns in hell or like oh i hope they let him go i don't really like you know it's it's the political theater and it's just to me i'm like i uh, i think subconsciously I've kind of given up on Facebook and, and X because there's a reason why our follower, our follower count on Facebook and X is not as big as our, our TikTok and our IG, you know? And I know that Meta owns IG and Fes and Facebook, but I just feel like Instagram still, uh, it still functions differently, just differently enough from Facebook to like, not be the way, the, like you said, Danny, all of it's just, political stuff, people bitching about politics all the time. I don't understand how people wake up every day and just feel the need to post about what can I be mad about, you know, politically yeah. today. I, that just sounds like such a waste of energy. But like, I get there's, it. There's only and, one there's one word that comes to mind when you say that, and it's morons. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So, I, I don't mean I mean, I don't mind uh, pulling out of X at, at all. Uh, we can... Well, I mean, but back in the day, Twitter used to be a a respectful platform. Like I had mm -hmm. tweets back and forth with the likes of uh, Ric Flair, Roddy Piper, Mark Hamill, you know, all these people, Wes Borland, even I tweeted back and forth with Wes Borland one time. And it's, it's real connections or with people and PRs or whatever it be, but it's that person's name. And, when when Mark Hamill is tweeting you, you know, Luke Skywalker says something, you print it out, you frame it and said he fucking responded. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> you know, and that actually meant something. But now it's just being inundated with political agendas and conspiracy theories. And I honestly think that this guy spent all his money on a platform to tank the American mindset. And uh, I'm not cool with that. 
So yeah. I'm I'm mainly just using it for porn now, and uh, that's it. <laughs> because it's the one website Texas didn't ban. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I actually, I, Rob, we, Rob, we did were you, talking did you about research this. that? Did you research that, uh, Rob? I got some firsthand and some secondhand uh, knowledge Both of this. Hands? Yes, impressive. Well, yeah. I mean, how else am I supposed to hold the phone? Oh, shit. <laughs> Rest on my stomach. Get this little folded belly button going. <laughs> Tuck my phone in. I can just feel oh, the no. stomach. In. No. Okay. Let's change this subject quick, okay? <laughs> yeah, so, the last days of war officially says, fuck X. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about Fallout, the series. I have still yet to see it, oh. but um, I have heard great things about it, and I've heard what it's done for, like, the franchise of the game. Players, uh, it's, it's spiked, like, the players that are currently playing the game again. And uh, it's just been all around great for that series. And uh, I think a great question is, should they do more video game movies like this or TV shows? And if so, what are some that you guys would like to see? Uh, whoever wants to start. I don't know who wants to start that one. <laughs> Danny? Uh, let's see. Um, Metal Gear Solid? That's a good. That's a. That's a. No pun intended. That's a solid series. Yes. Who would you I'm saying that. I, you know, Ooh, I, that's a good question. Uh, solid. Well, you know, you'd have to put like Chris Pratt in it or something because isn't he like the guy? You know. Chris Chris Pratt. He's in everything, everything and everybody. Right now, that's what I'm saying. So you just get Chris Pratt throwing in him, right? And that would be it. You'd be done. Yeah. Yeah. That'd no, be cool. I think. Uh, uh, I think old school, like I think, I think a guy that'd be perfect is like old school Kurt Russell. You know what I'm saying? I get on board with that. Yes, <laughs> that's cool. Like, yeah. like, um, what was the movie he was in? Escape from L.A. Escape from New York. Like that, that kind of Nick character. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, I can just now. Would you like? Would that, you like to see a moment. movie version of that or a TV series? Just based off that, the criteria. Shit, I don't know. The way they're doing series these days, you know? Like yeah, maybe I think a series. Because the there's a lot of those games, right? There's quite a few. Like five, six? A few, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, when the whole game depended on you hiding in places, I'm not going to spend <laughs> 20 bucks to go see some guy hiding a movie the whole time. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they show. would develop out the plot and all that, you know? It, it, half the game is just him <laughs> hiding. Uh, uh, for me... Uh, most definitely, I feel that they should do more, especially since now I feel like uh, um, The Last of Us really changed the way people release their content when it comes to video game stuff now because it was done so well. Everybody else is like, well, if we're going to do it, we got to do it right. We have to do it, you know, with as as close as tr true to possible to the original, you know, to the original product. And I I love that that that. That's the way it is now. So I would love to see a Red Dead uh, series, Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably one of my favorite stories just in general in video games. So something like, I would love to see a TV series of Red Dead Redemption 2 and a movie of the samurai game Ghost of Tsushima because that, that game is amazing. So, yeah, that's my two. Okay. All right. Josh? I'm thinking right now because I'm not very big in like video games as much as you guys, and a lot of the stuff that I watch is like serial killer horror stuff. Um, I guess it would be based if you could make a video game where you were like a real life Dexter, I'm and then make that. that like hmm. you could choose to be what type of serial killer you wanted to be. A Dexter style video game, Josh sounds. Amazing. I would love to, to do something like that. It would be cool to see how they would accomplish that. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's even remotely close to something like that. Because, like, we have slasher video games, but that's not Dexter. Dexter's not. Yeah. He's not a slasher, you know? No. 
I mean, you had the game Manhunt. That right. game, that game ruled, dude. That game, that yeah. game was awesome. Yeah, Rockstar Games. You yeah. know what? Actually, I I would really want to see is, um, and they can make a show of it. Is all like the EA 2K series? Like, I wish they'd actually make those sports. You know, go go. What do you mean? Which which EA like, series? Any of them, like if you know the 2K wrestling series, I wish they'd throw a show together like wrestling or like uh 2K basketball and actually show basketball, you know, or you know, um, baseball, hockey, any of these other sports that they make games for. I wish they'd actually show the real thing, you know. Oh, okay, okay, for sure, for sure, yeah, man. Um, <laughs> let, let me see what else we have here to talk about, really quick, guys. <laughs> Oh, this one's really good, dude. Okay. So, <laughs> Andrew, this one comes Andrew in Tate. From Berlin Supreme. <laughs> we, uh, Andrew Tate, we're going to talk a little bit about this fucking Tate. Who? Okay. Uh, fucking, <laughs> this guy, uh, he tweeted something very odd, I would say. I thought it was a little weird that he would say this, but <laughs> I mean, it is Andrew Tate. But he said, he claims. That if men who have sex only because it feels good and not for the sole purpose of procreating are gay. Oh, fuck. I'm gay. I'm gay as shit, then. Okay. We're gay it's as fuck, fine, dude. Fuck. Yes, queen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fucking slay, dude. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, dude, I don't, I don't understand this guy at all, man. I, I don't understand how anybody listens to this dude, but apparently a lot of people do. I didn't even really know who he was until like a few months ago when the whole, like I couldn't avoid him on the news well, because of the whole thing of him getting him and his brother getting arrested for s supposed sex trafficking. Right. If I'm not mistaken. But the, so that's the, the first time I heard down. about him too. The way it all went down and how they got busted is they started, uh, sex talking trafficking. Shit, Greta Thunberg. Oh, okay. and, uh, and so they were kind of talking shit back and forth, and he ended up ordering some pizza. And when he lifted the box, it said the name of the pizza place. And so they all put two and two together, figured out which pizza place. They said, hey, did you just delivered to a guy named Andrew. Cool. And then sent the police over there and had him arrested. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's how they got him? That's how they got him. It was I, like, we I can't think... find this guy. And then they... Looked up the the pizza place. They got his address from the pizza place and got him arrested that way. But this guy's still spouting off, and it's just like, dude, what is? I'm I'm uh, like I said, I didn't hear ever about this guy until the same situation Mark's talking about. Mm -hmm. Like prior to that, what is what is why is anybody listed? What is he? What is he? He do? used to be an MMA fighter, correct? Yeah, he was a fighter. but it, it's just like, dude, who who fucking cares? You know, like. Yeah. If you're not doing what you're doing and you're doing something else and just, I mean, kind yeah. of hypocritical as we're doing this, but you know, <laughs> 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 but it's just like, hey, dude, I, you know, this is a, the our inner workings of how we work and everything. Um, if you need someone else to tell you how to be your gender, uh, then I think you're doing it wrong completely. Um, I think you should do whatever makes you happy. You should do, uh, be around and surround yourself with people who, um, support that and promote that. And don't, don't talk down to it. Don't talk bad about it behind your back. Just support you with, uh, people that actually give a fuck. And that's what we did. And it was like, Hey, listen, uh, this guy, he's not on the same page with us. Cool. Get rid of him. You know, you don't need that kind of negativity. And for him to still be given a soapbox to stand on, hmm, I think that falls on uh, the people with the money who are still putting them out there, you know? Yeah, for sounds sure, like, dude. Sounds a lot like, to me, the type of dude that has a bunch of followers that are assholes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. I, I think he's well, more of a I'm guy hearing. that probably has a DGAF uh, tramp stamp. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like i wonder if that felt good you know what i'm saying yeah no man i just uh i just i don't know man dudes like him are so weird uh 
Danny, there's a guy on TikTok that we follow. I can't think of his name right now. The younger dude with the glasses, he's always doing like kind of political stuff where he just kind of calls people out on their bullshit. Uh, okay. But he, he, I just saw a great TikTok of him where like he was, he stitched a video of these other two guys that were like complaining about uh, John Cena wearing a dress. Like, oh, you know, these are like rituals that he had to go do just to be famous. Look at him. He's had to degrade his manhood and this and that. And uh, we cut to that guy and he's like, um, I think John Cena is just secure enough in his masculinity to do whatever the fuck he wants. You know, like I, I feel like the only people that have a problem with a guy in a dress are guys that are not secure with themselves. And I just thought that that was a great point. And then he was, he, and he was like, and to further my point, and it, it cuts to a picture of him in a dress. He's like, I look great in a skirt. So that's, I mean, that's, <laughs> I don't know what else to fucking tell you. You know, like, <laughs> he's, all, <laughs> he's, all, uh, he's so, just hating because he thought he wore it better. You got it. Right? <laughs> I yeah. get it, dude. Man, wear it, queen. Dude, to only have sex to procreate is such a fucking douchebag view. You know what I'm saying? You know how many kids we'd have, dude? Yeah, fuck like, that, bro. Right, I'd still you, be you guys... <laughs> <laughs> And then, okay, so and then if that's the case, uh, once you know your wife is pregnant, do you just like you're just not allowed to have sex with her until she can get pregnant again? Like you got to wait the entire pregnancy. <laughs> like what is the? Or you're, you know what I mean? or you're gay. That's it. You're gay if you do. That's it. Yeah, dude. Because other than that, that's hella gay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I no, I am totally gay in that case. Then. Yeah, it's so weird, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Uh, we got a, we got a few minutes left. I wanted to get into this last topic because I thought it was a great one. Quick. Yeah, exactly. We, we and it's the last to topic, so it, it, yeah, it's the last topic, so it worked out perfect. Uh, uh, Rob, you had put something down about the. Uh, what, how did you put it right here? The policing of protest. Oh, um, with, yeah. Uh, people protesting on the school campuses for Palestine. Uh, basically, was it 30,000 people have been killed so far, most of those being women and children. And so it seems like these uh, students are coming together and trying to protest that says, hey, you know, fuck what you believe in. This is humanity. You are killing people. You are killing innocents. And they're breaking them up with force. You can see them shoving and throwing people to the ground. Uh, I've heard news reporters have been arrested already for even just being there at the scene. Th this yeah. is a different America. Like, you got Tom Morello out there posting, like, no, this is what we did in our day is if something wasn't right and we were students, we protested on our school campus and had our voices heard, which opens up the lines of communication for there to be resolved. If you're just going around shoving pushing and, and trying to beat up the weaker man, oh, it, there, it's going to get a lot worse. Yeah. You, and, you said Tom Morello, and it reminded me of a great Tom Morello like uh, incident that happened on Twitter when somebody tweeted to, about him, and they were like, yeah, man, uh, he's gotten way too political for me. <laughs> and I was like, do you not know who that dude is? Well, I was like, what? Nobody tell him no. about Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Didn't he go to, uh, what is he, a Harvard graduate for political science or something? Yeah. That's so yeah. funny, dude. I was like, what are you talking about, man? But yeah, dude, um, so when it comes to protesting and the policing of protest, my, like I've always said protest. So long as you're not out there like trying to stone people or whatever it is, you know, getting violent, trying to hurt people, protest all you need. Whatever you want to protest about, that's what. That's why we have our freedoms. Do it. Go for it. And it always cracks me up when people are like, oh, they blocked the freeway or they blocked the street. They need to do it on the side. I don't think you understand what protesting means then. Like they're trying to prove a point. If they're just peacefully saying, hey, we don't like this in a, in a corner somewhere where you want them. Hey, can you go complain about it over there? No one's going to know what they're protesting about. That's why they're doing what they're doing. That's why they're stopping traffic. That's why they're trying to halt, you know, schools or whatever it is that they're doing. But I'm I, I've, I mean, been, I've been preaching to this fucking corner my whole life. Now yeah. I'm going to turn around and preach outside the corner and tell you this is fucking wrong. You know, like, yeah. 
at yeah, some point. Yeah, and that's what it is. That, and, yeah. You know, I think everyone can all agree that this is fucked up. I mm -hmm. mean, and there's not enough care and thought put into it because it's not happening where you live. And that can change any day, any moment. I mean, if they just shut off water right now, where would you go for water? And how many other people would be there too? And would you make it back alive? Exactly. So yeah, man. It, shit could pop off anywhere at any time. And I think we need to be more self-conscious, self-aware, and helping those around us who we do call neighbor, friend, or family, you know? Yeah. It, yeah. It just, whatever way you think you can help, help out. Don't be, don't be a dick and be a part of the problem, you know? Andrew yeah. Tater. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What about you, Josh? How do you feel about all that? Um, I agree with you guys with the whole protesting thing. And yeah, I've watched some of that. It was at the USC campus and it was kind of sad to see as the day progressed on because they started filming it earlier on in the day and they originally were letting them peacefully protest. But then once it started to interfere with the classes and they were supposed to be doing commencements, then it kind of turned into the upper levels of the college were like, hey, you need to get these people out of here because it's ruining our image. And they basically said, like, well, we're not going to pay attention to your protest. And if you don't want to listen to what we're talking about, we're going to physically remove you. And they didn't care that there were cameras there at all. Like, it didn't matter. So it's like what Rob was saying, where it's totally different now. Or even if you're trying to peacefully protest, they're like giving you a time limit. And then once it becomes inconvenient, all right, you got to go. And it's only going to get worse, like you guys said. Yeah. Yeah, man. Also, I think a really big problem with, uh, like you were saying, Rob, we're lucky that it's not, like, it's not happening here. You know, like, mm -hmm. it, it's not happening in the United States on our soil. Um. You know, the protests for the most part, me wrong. those are happening here. And, yo, yeah, and no, but like to the sucks. extent of like what they're going through over there, that has never really kind of happened with the exception of probably like, you know, like Civil War and stuff like that. And then, you know, like Pearl Harbor happened and stuff like that. But like it, it just the fact that it doesn't happen directly in our, you know, everyday living, we don't see it every day. So like people, it's kind of like, what frustrates me is when people care about it for like two weeks on social media and then like they just never talk about it again. It's like if you want to care about it, care about it. But don't jump on the bandwagon of, oh, I got to change my default picture to the, you know, Palestinian flag because everybody else did today. Like, you know, like, are you, are you really, do you really care? If you really care, care and do your part as far as whatever it is you feel you need to say or post or whatever like that. But the whole trend of like, oh man, I feel like everybody's against this today. We should probably do it too. Drives me up the wall sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> ah, no, I feel you. But then, uh, some of the shit that's going on today, man, you're just like, wow. You, you know, uh, Ukraine, for example. <laughs> uh, here, here, you got a whole sovereign nation that says, "Hey, we don't want to fucking deal with anyone." And Russia just goes, "Yeah, I want to deal with you," you know. And you're just like, "Oh shit!" Here's the biggest bully picking on like the weakest kid, but nobody sees it like that. Nobody really gives a fuck because, well, I'm still working for pretty much minimum wage, so why the fuck should I give a fuck? I still got to go to work. Does it change if I have to go to work? You know? Yeah. Does it change? Is then then the stories might change and that's how most americans feel because we have to work what three jobs and two side hustles just to stay afloat yeah. like it's fucking bullshit nowadays this isn't sure. this isn't grandparents america anymore this is a new one we fucked up and we destroyed and it's only getting better yeah tell my kids good luck <laughs> <laughs> right fuck dude Seriously. Uh, any last thoughts, guys? We're coming We're coming to the close here. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff coming up in the pipeline from new designs, uh, new music coming out in the next couple months. Possibly an album drop. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. But we got All a right. lot of good stuff coming up. Check the links. Like, subscribe, follow. If you like what you hear, also check out the band. We, we do music as well. 
follow us only on social media and have a person that's me. All right, you guys. We're in the last days of war. This has been the last days of Warcast for out.